Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to translate PUSJS file and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use different types of pop-up messages in the PUS and please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about Odoo especially for the PUS point of sale development you can use this playlist. Under this playlist you can see Odoo development and here you can see different types of playlist available with the different topic files with the real test cases and regarding the point of sale you can see here the latest for point of sale development tutorial is available and in case you need any help related Odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow and we have a different social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest notification so let's jump to our main topic like how we can translate the POS file right so if you already know about how the different pop-up menu is working right especially for our custom module so when we click here right you can see here this this pop-up menu this user input menus right this closing pure session this error message and this different simple error message pop-up right let's say now you want to translate everything which you mentioned in the JS and that is also possible right now we are using version 16 community edition so you can see right here so let's say this error message this this one we already mentioned as a simple string let's say what about let's say user already using different languages right in the Odoo and like that user will switch then we have to again switch this message to the specific language so here I'm giving you a small demo like how you can also do it right so for that what you have to do is simple you can just use here let's say this dot env then after dot underscore t and in the bracket you have to mention this message your custom messages right so for the same like right now i'm doing for the only two at the moment later i will explain what what i have done so the thing is like i have to restart the service in case you don't know how to configure or doing pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explained now here let me open another backend and here like let's say the settings and the translation you can see right now i just activated two languages by default it's english and second is the hindi here like simple we have to export like let's say for the hindi i want to translate po file we have to select and here like our module like pos right this weblands point of cell development and here in your case you have to just mention whatsoever module name you have that module name like you have to search here and simple export and you can see this hi underscore in dot po file is generated you it's downloaded and let me paste here so before paste you can see here there is no directory is available for the i18 right so let me create this one and here i am trying to paste here that i18 file from the download folder so here i'm trying to download this file and now you can see here this error message this simple error message screen which we mentioned like this right so after it will consider as a translate translatable these messages in the pos side so again so again what i will do is like here i will try to open the google translation and i will translate from english to hindi language so here i will try to translate uh, from uh, english to hindi language so for that like let's say here i will try to copy this static message i will paste here and copy this part and paste here this message str okay let me copy also this one paste here so this button if you guys remember this button is also available here this one wp button all right you can see this one
Now, let's say what about the rest of these messages, right? This yes, no, and all. So, don't worry about this part. Let's first focus only this part at the moment. And yes, another thing is in case you don't know how to translate the specific, uh, let's say, the back end, the front end, and the dynamic messages, right? Please check I18 like the translation related playlist i already explained almost all the test cases you can see here so this is the playlist about the translation so right now this is also a unique part because this this is the jazz and we have to just translate the simple messages all right so here I just restarted the service and simple I will try to change my language from English to Hindi so and simple I will refresh the screen now you can see here this WB button right is same as it is if you click here right now you can see thik hai. this one is properly translated right that means okay so what we have to do is again we have to go to in the import right and from here we have to upload that file or we don't need to do that one so simple we can also do from the back end also like this WBPUS we can just upgrade this module again I will try to refresh the screen So now you can see that WB button, the Hindi translation is also available here. And once I click here, you can see this confirm button. Are you sure you want to continue? This one, I, we didn't, let's say, change the, in, a, in another language, right? In the Hindi language at the moment. So you can see this one, the Ruti Sandes, that means the error message, Ruti Sandes, right? And thick hair means the OK button. So like this way, you can translate now what about the different ways you can also translate right so this is the simplest way let's say this dot env dot and then after minus t so this is the minus t is coming from the core library from the oval and uh, here that minus t always translate this message to the configured language right and if it is not available then it will display same it as it is like this so let's say you don't want to use like this, right? This dot env, like this. That is also possible. So for that, we have to just import here like const core require web dot core and simple here. Let's say the where underscore t and let's say core underscore t. You can just define like that way and you can just use minus t and let's say you can just use like this minus t or this dot env dot minus t so this is the two way right and again i will try to upgrade the module let's say restart the service and i will try to refresh the screen now Okay, so there is a, some jazz issue. Oh, uh, this is my bad. Actually, we don't need to use like that way. Like, let's say restart the service and simple refresh the screen. So now you can see that button again visible. And once I will click here, you can see these two messages, right? Now, uh, let me do one more thing. Let's say if I will try to remove this part, right? That minus T. And simple, I will try to again restart the service and uh, refresh the screen. Now, let's see that specific simple content. This one. Oh, sorry. Not this one. Let me upgrade the module one more time. Let's say refresh the screen. 
So now we will see, let's say uh, the body automatically translate this message, but it won't be translate this one. Why? Because we didn't use here the translation as a minus T, right? Or like this, this one. So you can see right error message. So it treats as a simple message. Okay. And you can see it's automatically translate into the Hindi language. Now, uh, let's say I will try to translate everything, all the messages into the Hindi language. So for that, like I will just use like this minus T. After that, like what I will do is, let's say simple, I will copy this part. I will remove this, the translation one also. I will copy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the first one, like let's say we already translated this part, right? Now we are translate this part. Again, we have to translate these characters, this string, okay, yes, no, After that, this one, the Odu error. So, Troti means error. So guys, here you can see the yes, no, we already translated, right? So we don't need to translate one more time. We have to just focus for this new words. And here you can see we don't have anything right at the moment. All right, so our file is up to date and now let's say we try to restart the service upgrade the module and simple i will refresh the screen still not all the messages will translate from english to hindi at the moment right you can see it's not translated this one is also not translated right this one is also not translated and this is completely translated right now the thing is here we have to do one thing here like simple message we have to convert like this save and again one more time we have to upgrade this module 
and now I will try to refresh the screen. Right now, let's see. Now you can see the translation is working right. Ha, nahi, yes, no. And this is the header translation, and this is the border translation. You can see here also ha, nahi, nischit nahi means yes, no, not sure. And this is the header part. Right. You can also see here the translation. Right. You can also see here. So like this way you can translate your JS file into one language to the different language using minus T. I hope you understood about this small concept and uh, if you have any doubt related this topic or if you have any suggestions for the point of self development topics please suggest me it would be good and uh, try to subscribe this channel if you not and see you in our next session and our next session would be how you can also call RPC like from here once I will click to this button it will automatically fetch some specific models data to the JS side right so stay tuned with us and see you in our next session.